62 winds light variable. High wow, that oh. winds north northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. No. It's a little tired. I look better. I kept waking up with my head by. Thanks. 
Yeah. And I just noticed uh, the stuff I do for myself. I don't know who's doing it, but we're all sponsored now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hey, we get more. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Hey, hi, Thank you. 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 Thank Please you don't have to worry about rent attention. Go to Capital. I go help the rent attention. Been doing it for years. It's really good to know. Yeah. Get to know. 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 Oh, that's the Yeah, it must be hard to do a sleep. I'm not doing that. No. I eat plenty of kale. As I was saying, with cold water, you don't need it. I'll get 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 it.
unfortunately, uh, people were treated for burns and scrapes, and one woman was hospitalized with a broken leg. And similarly, out of Hawaii, check this out. This was the scene later on Monday. Look at oh, this later on. Stop. I will read yeah. all this lot. By the way, we've been talking about the Kilauea volcano of Hawaii now for months, and it's still just spewing out lava right into the ocean and actually building up these small little islands that the actual uh, become part of the state of Hawaii. Oh my goodness, look at that. I mean, the fact that we have lava coming so much, I mean, it's just fascinating. It really and uh, yeah, those four boat tours now have to stay even farther no. away from the lava and the coast when they go out because something like this, oh, what we just saw, could happen. That's top of the hour now on Mother's Been Alive, one to five with the natural life. Thank you, Liana. I'm here on the Spark Elliott. We told you it was coming, and well, now it's here. Storms are pushing across the Northeast. There's a flash flood threat over 32 million people, and that uh, stretches from our nation's capital all the way up on 95 along the way, where a severe thunderstorm watch is already posted and where flash flood warnings are already in place, where we go for the rest of the day. Liana? And that's either I'll just lay on a bracket. Anytime you have storms like these roaring through the Northeast, you know one thing, and uh, we're showing you the lava footage no. right now, but we do no. the Northeast air travel could be a big mess, and that holds true for departures and arrivals. I'll pinpoint where flight delays are averaging up to four hours or more, and how long those delays could lengthen. Chris? And I'm your oldest, Chris Brown. Storms, not just an issue in the Northeast, so let's look at the bill again here in the Southeast. We're going to see this cause a problem, and it's not going to be one day and done. Going to be multiple days here across course of the southeast. Just ahead, why the southeast just can't shake off the storms, and then we're going to show you where the storms are going to fuel a chance for coastal crawler. The spoiler weekend here in the northeast, but before that happens, mark pinpoints where the northeast is struggling with storms right now. Yes, yeah, Chris, it's going to be an active afternoon, and you could argue it has already begun. We do have a series of storm watch across much of New England, lasting for the rest yeah. of the day. Yeah. Yeah. south is northern portions of Connecticut and Rhode Island. Uh, within this zone, we've got this broken line of storms that's already set up shop across this area with the northern portion the most severe as of now. Now, I will say there is plenty of juice left to go for the rest of the day. As we look at the available energy for these storms, what we look at is Kate, uh, the convective available potential energy just out ahead of that line of storms. Things are really starting to crank. We've got subtly flow. We've got some sunshine still. We've got instability building through. So the bottom line is that although you don't have active storms yet in places like New York City or Philly or Baltimore or D.C., down through Roanoke and Richmond, uh, it's coming. You know, later on today, uh, these areas are going to get cranking. Let's go from north to south, show you the worst of the weather right now. This is Portland, Maine, this is coastal ah. Maine, Arundel right here. No, uh, no gusty, point. gusty storm has just gone through. It's still ready to beat the band in Arundel. It is your county almost out of the woods as those storms go by. That will be the end of your severe weather day. Uh, the Gloucester area hasn't seen anything yet. Storms hey. to your west are still no. uh, uh, quite mean. Gusty winds are their biggest threat. You can almost see that push of the rain right now. Uh, because of those gusty winds, Hillsboro and Rockingham County, there's thunderstorm warning for you. Some interesting storms here, uh, just outside Boston, now getting through Middlesex and Worcester counties, the northern side of Worcester County. Gusty winds, the biggest threat. Look at this no. couple of storms, though. Some hints within here that we may actually have just a little bit of no. rotation starting to come on through. Let me pause the radar. Let's get a little bit closer in, and there's almost a signature right in here of a bit of rotation. So as I switch that over to look at the uh, motion of the raindrops, you can see that it's broad, but there is still that zone where we could have some brief spin-up tornadoes across the north for the rest of the day. Storms have gone through High Point, New Jersey. They're on their way towards New York City within about two hours or so. Similarly, Philadelphia, quiet for now. The storms are developing off to your west. And we've got a couple of precursor storms here in Baltimore, but the rest of the action is still off to your west as well. So let's time this down as we go through the rest of the day. We're talking about storms crashing through the I-95 corridor between 3 and 5 o'clock. And then uh, they continue to go through the coastal areas. Northern New England and even northern portions of the Mid-Atlantic, Chris, those storms can last through this evening. So heavy rain and our flood potential is not out of the question. That's why the flash flood watches are up. How are you? All right, let's go in a little bit more specifically to certain cities. Let's look at live right now in Washington, D.C. Keep in mind, it's hot, 88 degrees. We do have the clouds in place. Maybe even just a few sprinkles there on the camera, not over the camera. 
capital. But no. we're going to see some stronger swords pushed into the DC Bolt or Metro area. No. We'll love to see the ladies in the airport. Take a look at this. For exactly. the rain, Don't DC fight. Exactly. delays on average. So enough to no. get to notice. We just have some very light rain in and around. The wind gusts, by the way, are out of the south. And by the way, these delays are all weather related. No. Heating weather that's headed this way. No. So no way. No way. At least right now, we are seeing some light showers, but nothing that would really cause no. some issues. Heavier downpours, though, not far away. The problem comes when you go a little bit off towards the north of East Baltimore and Washington International. This is where we have over five and a half hour delays. Most of these, by the way, are with Southwest Airlines, but keep in mind, you need to check with your air carrier to see what the latest stats are. And taking a look at the timing, notice here on the uh, forecast right now, just some light showers, but as we go into your no. afternoon, these heavy downpours are really going to work their way towards the I 95 corridor here from DC. To Maryland and points in between, but it's not just DC and Baltimore, it's uh, further north. Yeah, and like Philadelphia, Philadelphia, let's show you what you look like right now. Not too shabby, right? I mean, it is very hot and humid, and you think you have the clouds that are just hovering off the horizon right there. But the showers are headed your way, and that does mean more delays. We are experiencing a delay right now at the Philadelphia International Airport. Right now, not the wind that's the problem. No, the no. It's going to be those storms. And you can see we have a three hour delay with seven minutes. Oh, and you see you're dry right now, but once that rain hits, I could even bump those numbers up even higher. Overall, this is a look at Philadelphia and the area. And much of those, much of activity is staying to the north for now, but in the next couple of hours, here we go. Now it's starting to blossom up. That's from now until about 3 p.m. Eastern it's, time. And it continues to bubble up through back. this evening. So by mm -hmm. 5 p.m., you might see a couple of breaks. Oh, well, yeah, you're standing in front of it. So. Oh. Like about 7 p.m. Eastern time. We're taking it hour by hour because we're showing you how and active is going to remain. Even by 10 p.m., we're still seeing the chance for showers, Preston. It's just non-stop with this overall water. It's even going to kick up into the wee hours of tomorrow morning. Yeah, and I see that now, yeah, especially around New York City. We're heading into the ground one and the ground two. So let's go live to New York City right now where we are seeing amazing skies. It's hot. We have the heat advisories in effect. It was more like the mid to upper 90s outside temperatures, around 86 degrees. But the clouds, they're already in place, in fact. Let's go to the that? radar right now and show you what we're dealing with here in New York, where, by the way, delays are now over 300 minutes. So they're really going to cause serious issues if you have arrival or departure issues. Uh, layovers as well are going to be impacted by this impending line of storms. It's already working in towards northwestern Jersey. So seeing the weather there in Newark, we're already up now. These have been up to now over an hour and 15 minute delays. So likely you're going to see that get up as you just now. We're getting over 25 miles per hour. Yeah. Now, here at JFK, we have really watched these increases as well. Took a little bit to be used to the delay. I said it took a little bit to be used to me. So, it's just the air. And when I put them in the cage, you start to talk to me. If you go to the airport, or maybe they're supposed to be out of the later, so you can stay at home and wait till things improve. All right, here's what that line is. Let's take this into the future mode and show you what we're dealing with. We're going to go out now. And then kind of quieting down until the evening, we got it. We're going to see these ones higher up again overnight. So this means that you may not get hit with the first round. You might not get missed by the second. It's so true. It's almost like a domino effect across the board. It's taking a lot of people in Boston, Massachusetts, where you want to drive for now. Right on the map. 
have nothing that is really intense, intense right now. And with deadly rains straight here across the North East, millions of under the flat flood blocks, in fact, nearly 30 million in all of Los Angeles flood waters may not look all that great. Flood floods certainly are incredibly dangerous. Do you have to learn what to do if you get swept away by the raging waters? Well, working with Jim today, the first thing we told him is what to do by accident and all The first thing I do is float my head, my feet out the water, and get on his feet and cough and cough. Once I come for the bear, the roller is a sign of rest until the shore. Uh, I don't know. Well, he wants some of the stuff that got his car. Oh, that stuff I put in bag. Plus, I told him, uh, well, if he doesn't have the puzzle, I'll have to find that paper. At least with that, I can take it to DMV and then I'll order to where I was. I think for what it said on wine, it's only $50. Great shot. And then you ferry across, swimming with assistance of the rescuer. I don't know if they said he was coming here. Or... The first scenario we had, Jim, in the day is called a live bait rescue. It's a rescue got work today. It's on a road tether. We know the rescue is down the street. We have to get down to the road. We have to get down to the yeah, and he keeps saying, oh, it should be here in a few days. And Nick's like, well, it takes two weeks. And I was like, no, oh, that's why I think it didn't take too that long. And DMV said that it takes us off maybe anywhere between three days to a week and a half. Absolutely. I can say one thing after going through this today, I think it gets refreshed. So if that's the case, and maybe he's just, you know, jerking me around on it or whatever he's doing, I know he doesn't have no potential to watch the park. So we'll be live for now. Yeah. You got to right? Yeah. 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 Y
That was so cool. I put the one that's in the sink now that's been in there soaking is because I put ice in it and ice crashed. I didn't break the ice first. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's really good.
digital light breeze, but strong storms could change that as we see these fire up, especially in the next few hours. So it's not just severe weather here in the major cities on the East Coast. We're going to have another threat severe weather in the middle of the country this afternoon and also again into the day tomorrow. Let's get a look at where we have that risk. These are the reds. That does include Shine, Wyoming, Denver. You're included in this as well. Dodge City, Kansas, Colby, Kansas, North Platte, Rapid City, and everywhere in between can see the risk for strong storms. Right now, we have a lot of sunshine. That's an indication that we are going to see these storms fire up. There's a lot of instability being produced here in the atmosphere, and that will trigger off these storms. Now, as far as the radar goes, we are seeing some newly issued severe thunderstorm warnings with this line. It's pretty much moving due east towards uh, towards the southeastern Kansas and about to push into uh, western Missouri. So, Springfield. They could make it your way in the next hour and a half or so. And take a look at that batch moving just south of Kansas City. More storms are firing up across Wyoming and here in the front range. As we go into the afternoon hours, and notice how those really uh, flourish and strengthen here by the time we head to your evening and overnight time frame. Then they spread out over the high plains and continue to linger even after the sun goes down. We could get MCS right. kind of developing here from Nebraska into South Dakota. And that will lead us into a risk for severe weather tomorrow, which does include a little bit uh, further east. We're talking South Dakota and forces here into Nebraska, Omaha, up to Sioux Falls. You can see that risk. Thanks to strong upper level winds, it's all thanks to a front, which will be pushing across the country as we speak. For the middle of the week. So there's a look at the radar, the future radar as we go into your day tomorrow. Timing still lingering into the overnight hours as well, early Thursday morning. Uh, potentially here for flash flooding, keep in mind rivers are very high, especially across a place like Iowa. So let's get a look at the future radar in Cheyenne. Notice how those individual supercells could easily fire up here. So maybe you're on that stretch of 25, we ought to Cheyenne, South Fort Collins, or Denver. So I'm certainly you're going to have. Rather heavy rain for the mid Atlantic and northeast coastal areas. Beyond that, this is going to be a wash 
Atlanta, the Atlanta imaginary world of shrubs and the shapes of different dragons, mermaids, and mythical birds. And most of October 28th, if you want to check it out today, that's the Atlanta Botanical Gardens. You can see those temperatures actually look pretty pleasant, but it's no. very cute. This program brought to you by Gravity, the name to remember. I love my grandma. As you grow older, your brain naturally begins to change, which can cause trouble with reading. Well, you can use brain to keep up. Thankfully, Gravity helps your brain and improves memory. Then it's got all the answers. Gravity is now the number one selling brain health supplement in drugstores nationwide. He's not actually he's really doing like vicious, but like, I don't want you to do that. I want to do that. Healthier brain, better life. This isn't, he's not an aggressive player. He's just one that says, stop doing it. He tried to do it when I was brushing his ears. He tried to do it when I was brushing his ears. Yeah, I don't see what the problem was that the people at Pets Park were having. Because if the dog's on the street, and it's better than the other free church. Because they can't use anything. Dermatologist recommended. It's gotta be tied. And now for the ring. I mean, aggressive fire. You get an awful. But it's not. It's just like, bring him on. Bring him on. Bring him on. I still want to eat my broccoli, though. And if you don't have the right coverage, you can be made for that personal advantage yourself. Because if you get it all fed, you can be better at it.
Jersey, and even here in DC, even North Carolina, get in on the strong, strong water right there on that right. Close out these, we're going to have our fears here of stormy weather, severe thunderstorm warnings, and also quite a bit of heavy rainfall. It seems to be relentless here. And then a little for the west, back towards the Lone Star State, that's our other big issue. The heat is blazing here in the Lone Star State. These are your air temperatures here this afternoon into the rest of your week and feeling much hotter than that. But we're going to start off now with the severe weather that's popping up left and right across the northeast, including Metro Boston, Metro New York, but more now let's go straight to the lap down more. Yeah, already active day, Chris, so let's get right on into it. We have a severe thunderstorm watch that's finished by the Storm Prediction Center over in months of New England. As far as the southern Maine, although you can probably clear out this portion of the watch, the storms have already just gone through. Uh, as far as south is Northern Rhode Island and dedicated portions of uh, southeastern upstate New York. Here's that line of storms that's getting all of the fury right now. Broken line goes from, let's say, central Pennsylvania all the way up to coastal Maine. But just out ahead of it, there's plenty of opportunity for these storms to continue. You look at the available energy in the atmosphere, and this is right along the front. So New York, Philly, D.C., Boston, all of them get high amounts of uh, available energy for these storms to sustain themselves as they continue on eastbound. The line of storms has uh, had a lot of wind energy with it as it has entered, exited New Hampshire and entered northeastern Boston. Here's Gloucester, for example. Very dusty wind with this storm system, so that's why that severe thunderstorm warning is in place. No. Continue to follow that same line of storms out in the south. Middlesex and Worcester counties, severe thunderstorm warning for you. This is the storm the complex that's headed generally towards Boston. Notice there are already flash flood warnings in place across this area. Not raining yet in Boston, yet a flash flood warning is there because we know the history of these storms. All these dark green areas are three inches of rain at least in three hours or less, no. and that is enough. To have a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for our area. Yeah, this one right here outside Pittsburgh, a uh, thunderstorm that uh, has trees down blocking uh, some of the roads oh, in the right. area. Mm-hmm. And because of that heavy rain, look at this. Uh, flash uh, not flooding. This is a thunderstorm. Flooding here west uh, of the river, uh, dry parts of the river, and sewer breaks lifted by those floodwaters. So that's the kind of action headed for the faucet as we speak. Yeah, right, right. I see you post some of them like that yesterday. I don't know where you're up here in New York, so I'll be right in here. This is outside Kipsey, Columbia, Dutchess. It makes sense, though. The streets in the third are so bad, and they just get big homes. You can follow that line into North Jersey. Not as many markets as far south, but that doesn't mean there won't be. It's getting a little bit more organized at this point. So New York City, Philadelphia, get ready. We've already had a couple of storms outside of Baltimore, but the main line is still back to your west. You came back near the Potomac Front and the Alameda Highlands there. So uh, you still have plenty of opportunity as the day rolls on. In fact, we're not clearing out. I'm 95. Every time I go that way and I get down towards the That's how that, uh, that'll be how I'm in the car. It's not even a drop. It feels like a fall. No, I don't I seen a guy come out of there the other day and I thought he was going to smack right beside me. I thought he hit that hobble. Kill away of the light, he hit his four boat early Monday. I heard like a little thud. He didn't hit me though, so that was good. 23 people on board were treated for burns. Those on board say it was suddenly chaos. The bomb that hit us was the result of an incident. Bombs on the left now seem much farther away from the line as it is. In Michigan, Chris, you can see the farm or 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 I think I almost got two exits. So, yeah. so, so far, not what you're covering. His name is Will Carrier, and he invented modern air conditioning on the day. I noticed the guy here, your, your idiot driver, and people that have really good cars. I would love for them to hit me because <laughs> they're hitting me. I'm not hitting them. That guy that cut me off, he was driving a Dodge Charger. Your job and outdoors and all yeah, he was like, he flipped me off and everything. I still remember his license plate. <laughs> 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 
Well, after that guy did it, like maybe I don't know, two hours after that. I think it was the, the last time Nina was here, not this weekend. But uh, there was a guy that came flying out of the dog when I was coming out of the uh, desert park. Oh, no. Literally almost smacked right into the eyes. I had to stop him in the wrong lane so he could just go. It's just really nice toilet paper. It's okay. He's in the wrong for doing that. Because I had to write a window for him. He didn't even stop the stop, right? He just went. Yeah, I'm just like halfway in the middle of the room because he started doing it. Buying an OG one life is the best experience in school. Yeah, that's right. Your interest rate will rise. 